hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel hope everyone is doing good so today we're going to be making a kaftan cow short dress so this is a requested video this is what we're going to be making today so i'll be using a combination of two different fabric so i'll be using african print and scuba fabric if you look at the picture very well the front part is of two different fabrics same thing to the back so I'm going to be missing these two different fabric up. The red will be on the other side. Why this fabric, why the African print will be on the other side. I will do the same thing to the back. I cut out about 27 inches for the wideness. And the length of the dress is 39 inches. Then I, I'll be adding one inch for sewing allowance. That is 40 inches. So this is the um, plain fabric and this is the African print. I cut them equal. It's folded into two. This is folded into two and this one is folded into two. I'm not adding zip to it because the upper part is kind of free. You can add zip to it if you want, but I'm not going to be adding zip to it. So I think it's a free dress. You can easily pass through. So I'm cutting the front and the back panel together. So I'm taking the, the shoulder measurement. The shoulder measurement is 16 inches divided by 2, which is 8 inches. And I'll place my 8 inches here. So this is the normal shoulder measurement. It's 8 inches. Right from here, I will extend it to 19 inches. I'm supposed to take um, 18 inches. So I added one inch for sewing allowance because I'll be hemming here and be hemming the other side. I'll use half inch to hem this side and half inch to hem the other side. This 19 inches will be for the shoulder and the sleeve. I'm taking three and half inches for the wideness of the neck because I'm adding half inches. So I'll make it four inches because I'm sewing this place. I'll make it four inches. Then the depth, the back depth, I'm taking two inches for the back depth and four and a half inches for the front depth this is the back one and this is the front one Here yeah, I'll come down one and a half inches for shoulder slope. So I will take it down right from here. So that's the shoulder slope. So I just want to finish on this uh, upper part before I go to the down part. This is the normal shoulder line. So right from here, I will take, this is the ends of the fabric. Right from here, I will take the armhole measurement. The armhole measurement is 20 inches divided by two. is 10 inches, then I'll take my 10 inches. So this place will be left open. That is where the hand will go through. And uh, this will be the shoulder for. Right from the shoulder here, I will take the hip measurement. From shoulder to hip is 24 inches. And I'll be adding half inch for sewing allowance. Now mark my 24 inches here and make a straight line here. So what I'm going to do next is to place the, the hip measurement. That's the circumference measurement. The hip measurement is 46 inches divided by 4, which is 11 and half inches. I'll mark my 11 and half inches here. This is the hip line. And now we add one inch for sewing allowance. Then add two inches for ease. If you like, you can add one inch for ease, but I just want that place to be free a little bit. Then from here, I'll make a straight line. Right from this um, 19 inches I marked out. I'll make a straight line from here. To where the hip line is. I have a video on how to make a kaftan cow dress in my channel, just that it's a little bit different. The one in my channel is a long one and with sleeve. This is a short dress without a sleeve. I, I mark a straight line. From there, I will curve it and bring it to the, to the hip line, to the hip measurement. 
So this is the hip line. I will take this one straight to the length of the, the fabric. On this side, I just want to make a little curve here. So that's it. This is the length. Like I said earlier, the length is 39 inches plus one is showing allowance that is 40 inches. So I'm going to be cutting it out. I will cut out the, the back neckline. This is the front neckline. I will go ahead and cut the front neckline, the depth. I will cut the rest part out. So I'm making a notch here. This is where my sleeve will start from. Okay, so when you open it up, it should look like this. So I will go ahead and pin them together. This is the right side and this is the right side. Make sure the right side are facing each other. It's a very simple style and very quick to make. So I'm going to run this place half inch. I will sew the midpoint here, the center part, sew it half inch. I finished joining the both fabric together, that is the, the center part. What I'm going to do next is to sew the shoulder and the side. I will start sewing it right from the neckline and stop here where I made my notch earlier. Then I will leave this place on sewed. This is the sleeve. I will take it right from here, sew the side and bring it to the length of the dress. I will do the same thing to the other side. So guys, I've finished sewing the shoulders and the both side. Next is for me to hem the sleeve. I have half an inch for sewing allowance. I will take a quarter of an inch, fold it like so, then fold it again. I'm folding it twice now. I will take it, pin it, so I will sew it round. This is where the hand will go through. I will do the same thing to the other side and the bottom side I will take half inch and take half inch again so the damp part of the dress. So we are done with the dress. I cut out some patches from the African print and use it to design the front part on one side and use it to design these plain parts just to give it more details. So this is the amp hole. This is the back side. But I just make it like so. This side is uh, this side is plain fabric. This side is plain fabric. This side is African print, and the other side is African print. So it totally depends on what you want. You can make yours the back side plain fabric, and this side plain fabric, and this side um, African print, and the other side African print. So that's it for today. I'll see you guys on my next one. Please subscribe to my channel if you're new. And uh, don't forget to join us on our Facebook group at Cynthia's Fashion House. Where we learn together. So see you on my next one. Love you. Bye.